In this first lesson, we'll be looking at some tricks that you can use to work with audio drum loops. Contained within some of the most basic warping features of Ableton are things that I like to call the hidden jewels of Ableton. Let's check out some of the possibilities of working with some of the most basic features inside of Ableton's warping. I have a basic drum loop loaded up and it sounds like this. Just a nice breakbeat played with an organic kit. Sounds pretty good right now. Let's look at a few of the, the possibilities of working with some creative pitch shifting. I'm gonna come here to this copy of the clip. It's the same clip. Now, if I double click on it and look at my clip detail view, I see that it's currently in beats mode, one of Ableton's default settings. Located here is a transposition knob that allows us to change the pitch of the loop without changing the speed. I'm going to play this drum break and see what it sounds like if I pitch it down a few steps. Sometimes just by taking a drum break and pitching it down slightly, it changes the timbre and gives you a much grittier, low fidelity sound that can sound really good on the track. starts to make it sound kind of dirty and gritty. Sometimes I like to take some clean drums and just pitch them down on purpose to get a little more gritty sound. Now we can pitch it up as well too. So if I run it a little bit higher, makes it makes a snare a little tighter, a little bit higher. What I want to show you though, is that in beats mode, if we start going an octave up or an octave down or more, the beats mode engine starts to kind of develop this interesting glitchy effect. It starts to freak out a little bit, but when we use it properly, it can actually sound really good. Check this out. I'm going to take this rhythm right now and I'm going to pitch it up really high as it plays. It's like some instant glitch hop. Sometimes it can sound really good to leave one copy of a break in its normal pitch and then make copies of other drum breaks and pitch them up really high for texture. Let's see what it sounds like if I run two of these together. And I'll add some drums I programmed over here. All right, not bad, not bad. So there's all kinds of possibilities with that. Next thing I wanted to talk with you about is some more creative pitch shifting using another one of Ableton's basic modes. This is a mode that is called repitch. I'm gonna come here to the third track in my session, double click on the clip and take a look down in the clip detail view. It's currently in beats mode. I'm gonna change it by clicking here and select repitch. When you put it into repitch mode, You'll notice that the transposition knob just got grayed out. You can turn it, but it won't do anything to the sound. In repitch mode, the playback speed is going to affect the pitch. It's almost like if you have a record player. If you play a record faster on a record player, the pitch gets higher as well as the tempo gets faster. Same thing is going to happen in here. If I go to a higher tempo, it's going to make my drums get to a higher pitch. If I go to a lower tempo, it will make them get to a lower pitch. It's going to make it behave almost like it, it would sound if it was in the early sampler. Let's listen to what it sounds like right now. Here's its original speed. It will sound the same. And now as I start to make it go higher in tempo, it raises the pitch too. It starts to sound like some early drum and bass or jungle. Now if I go the opposite direction, starts to get real gritty and low. I'm gonna bring it up to 140.
All right, so that's pretty interesting. If we play it against the click track right now, you'll hear this right on beat. There's an interesting technique that you can use, though, where you can get it to play half tempo. So it will actually get that lower, gritty sound. If we look in our clip detail view, you'll notice that right here we have these buttons that allow us to double or cut our tempo in half for this clip only. I'm going to hit this one on the right. Let's hear what it sounds like now. Even though our tempo is still 140, it makes this clip sound like it's playing at 70. And because it's in repitch mode, we get that nice, deep, gritty sound. I like using this technique for layering because I love getting that gritty half tempo sound against program drums. Let's see what it sounds like now with this program beat at 140. So even when you're working with the most basic warp modes inside of Ableton with audio drum loops, by using transposition, by using repitch mode, beats mode, and the double and half tempo feature, we're able to start to unlock some of the hidden jewels of Ableton and making beats. Load up a couple of your favorite drum loops right now and try out what I just showed you.